Prince Harry snubbed his own father's request for a private conversation during his brief stay in the UK. The Duke of Sussex has now returned to his home in California after spending nine days in the UK to attend the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral. But, according to Russell Myers, Harry turned down Prince Charles' request to see him. The royal editor of the Daily Mirror explained, whilst he was over here, he didn't have a chance to have a face-to-face -face with his father Charles. Apparently Charles did want to make time to see him. But, Harry told him listen, I have got to go. The royal expert said that there are many in the palace, including Charles, who want to squash the rift between Harry and the rest of the royal family. But, these attempts were rejected by the Duke of Sussex who quickly jetted back to the US. He said, it's an interesting point because while Harry received quite a frosty reception from some members of the family, there are some that do think to squash these beef with other members of the family would the right thing to do. Reflecting on where Harry's relationship with William sits at the moment, Mr. Myers explained, there was another opportunity to speak to William. But it wasn't the right time or place at the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral. If you are over on the other side of the world, it is going to be very difficult to heal these wounds and squash these arguments. It's going to be a very long road. I remember watching the Oprah interview and my jaw was on the floor. For the people it actually involved, it will be a long road back for them. Mr. Myers spoke to Talk RADIO host Kevin O'Sullivan, who suggested the British public backed William's move to not forgive Harry. Mr. O'Sullivan said, William is absolutely furious with Harry. William is getting a lot of support from the British people for not forgiving Harry. I think the popular thing for the royal family to do is not to forgive Harry. Earlier this week, Harry was criticised after details of his conversations with the rest of the royal family were leaked upon his return to California. Charlie Ray, the former royal editor at The Sun, said that Harry hardly put his foot back on American soil when the leaks started. Crucial talks between Harry and senior members of the firm have been put on hold due to concerns over leaks, according to The Sun.